Hello, everyone, and welcome to a pre-recorded episode of the David Hiddle Real Estate Show. My name is David Hiddle, and I am a realtor with United Real Estate Louisville, and we are pre-recorded today so that we can provide you with visuals for the April real estate market update. So I currently am able to see the visuals and you will be able to see the visuals once this video goes live. But in order to have those visuals pop up for you, we have to have, uh, we have to pre-record this video. So today we're going to be talking about the real estate market um, in the major areas that I provide um, real estate services to. So the first one is uh, my largest area of service uh, as a realtor, and that is Louisville, Kentucky. The April 2023 market overview for Louisville, Kentucky shows that the average sale price in Louisville increased month over month and sits at $286,569. So that's the average sales price in Louisville, Kentucky for April 2022. Um, last year, uh, that number set at $278,828. So just above, just below $10,000 in average sale price from 2022 to 2023. Cumulative days on market sits at 33 versus 24 last year. The average list price also increased month over month and sits at $326,880. That is, however, down from last year where it was $346,294. There are currently 975 new listings that were added in April. That's down 25% from the previous year. The number of active listings sits at 958. That's up about 10%. The number of sold listings were 719 in April, which is down almost 33%. And the number of pending listings sits at 747 for April, which is down 32%. The year-to-date, year-over-year active listings currently sits at 4,807 as of April, and that is down from the 5,503 in April 2022. So the number of listings, the number of homes hitting the market is down from the previous year. Currently, our month supply of inventory sits at 1.07 months. So if the uh, amount of homes continued to sell at this rate, and we did not add any more. We would only have 1.07 months of inventory, and that is actually up from last year's 0.77. So what this means is that we are seeing um, prices go, uh, go up month over month, so from February to April. Um, we are saying that the average sale price is up uh, year over year, but the average list price is actually down almost twenty thousand dollars. So we would uh, we would rather see sales price goes up than list price. List price is the average uh, home hitting the market, actually getting getting put on the market, and that is where um, the average is listed at. At versus sale price is what the actual home sold for. So sold for price is up month over month, up year over year. The average list price is up month over month, but down year over year. Taking a look at Bullock County, Kentucky, that's the entire county of Bullock County. We don't, uh, I don't, do like a Mount Washington and uh, Shepherdsville. Just put it all together. 
So the April 2023 market overview for Bullitt County, Kentucky, shows that the average sale price is up month over month to be at $294,408. However, that is down from last year's $302,548. I believe there in Bullitt County they had uh, – a lot of new construction going on in 2022. So that may have raised the average sale price for last year versus this year. Um, but I'm sure builders are still building in Bullitt County, and they certainly are. Cumulative days on market are set at 42. That's the uh, number of days that it takes to go from listed to under contract. So it's 42 is the cumulative days on market. That's, that's versus 21 last year. So again, last year was an extremely hot real estate market. We were coming off the end of the pandemic. So that shows you the difference in uh, people's urgency, 42 versus 21. Average list price is up month over month, $353,435. That was the average list price in April of this year. And that is up uh, from last year's $318,435. So average list price is up uh, month over month and year over year. Average sale price is up month over month, down slightly year over year. We will see how that uh, progresses as the year goes on and as the housing market heats up even more um, because of the summer. Always heats up during the summer. New listings for April sat at 101. That was down 21.7% from last year. The number of active listings, 117. That's up 11% from last year. Number of sold listings was 84 in April, which was down 22% from the previous April. And the number of pending listings were 91, and that was down 24.8%. The active listings year to date and year over year, pretty much the same as last year. So we're seeing about the same amount of uh, homes hitting the market as we did last year in the Bullitt County area. 547 so far this year versus 548 at this time last year. And the months of supply in Bullock County sit at 1.42 oh, months versus less than a month the previous year. And of course, six months of inventory is considered a balanced market that would equally benefit buyers and sellers. Anything under six months is considered a seller's market. And this information was provided by the Greater Louisville Association of Realtors. Taking a look at Shelby County, Kentucky, my uh, now hometown, Shelbyville, Kentucky, uh, we see uh, different data. We're seeing different data here than we did in Louisville and Bullitt County. So the average sale price is down month over month and year over year. So the average sale price for April uh, was 303547 and that was down from the previous month, which for us was February. Um, and it's also down um, just under $4,000 from the previous year. So 303547 versus last year's 307000 Cumulative days on market are 33, and that is way up from 15 uh, last year. The average list price, which is scary for most people, but it's down month over month, is $610,359. That is the average list price in April, and that is way up from the previous year of $416,726. So, we, we saw property values uh, uh, accelerate uh, very high in the previous uh, bunch of years here in Shelby County. New construction um, has come in and 
completely uh, ra completely raised the property values of the area. So people are now homeowners are now able to sell their home for a lot more than they were previously. So that average list price of six hundred ten thousand, which would be scary to home buyers, is actually great for home sellers. But still, even at that six hundred ten, our average sale price is still three hundred three. Um, which is a good range for home buyers. The number of new listings in April were 42, and that was down 38.2% from the previous year. Number of active listings were, up 50, uh, were 57, which was up 14% from the previous year. Number of sold listings, 34, was down 30.6% year over year. And the number of pending listings, 31, uh, was down 20.5% year over year. Again, saying it similar is what we're seeing in Bullitt County. The number of active listings year to date and year over year, 212 versus 220 the previous year. We're down eight homes um, from the previous year's makeup. So active listings are staying about what they were last year. Months of uh, supply year-to-date, year-over-year, 1.39% versus 0 0.90 months, or 1.39 months, not percent. 1.39 months of inventory, uh, and again, six months of inventory is considered to be a balanced market that equally benefits buyers and sellers. Um, so 1.39% or 1.39 months. Um, puts you in a seller's market here in Shelby County, Kentucky. And again, this data was provided by the Greater Louisville Association of Realtors. Going further east, April 2023 market overview for Frankfort, Kentucky. We saw average sale prices up month over month in Frankfort. Uh, average sale price in April was $246,756. That was up month over month and up year over year. Almost $40,000 in increased sale price versus last year. Cumulative days on market staying pretty steady versus last year. 31 versus 26 last year. Now the average list price is down month over month, but it is up year over year. 320,239 was the average list price for April of this year versus 289,639 last year. New listings uh, in Frankfurt were 47 for April. That's down 27.7% versus last year at the same time. Active listings are up. Uh, 82 active listings for April, which is up almost 50%. Number of sold listings, uh, 37, down 27.5%. The number of pending listings in April sat at 45, which was down 34.8%. So this is the first, um, first market that we looked at that actually has more active listings this year or more inventory hitting the market this year versus last year. So in Frankfurt for April, year to date and year over year, 293 uh, listings have hit the market for the year. And that's versus 287 uh, for the previous year. Uh, month supply of inventory, 1.73 months of inventory uh, versus 0.98 months of inventory. And again, Six months of inventory is considered a balanced market that equally benefits buyers and sellers. So even with the increased amount of active inventory, uh, Frankfurt still has itself in a seller's market, which benefits homeowners, of course. Taking a look at Lexington, Kentucky, April 2023 market overview um, for Lexington, Kentucky. Average sale price is up month over month to be at $359,727. That's the average sale price for April of this year. That is up over $8,000 from the previous year, $351,012 in April 2022. Cumulative days on market set at 24 versus 10 the previous year. 
So homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer amount of time than they did last year. And the average sale price, which or average list price, which is looking good for uh, Lexington homeowners, up month over month, 619637 and that is versus last year's 563,691. Huge increases in property values in Lexington, Kentucky. New listings for April were 343. That's down 34.7% from the previous year. Number of active listings were 314, which was up 27.6% from the previous April. Number of sold listings, 276. That was down from the previous year. Pending listings, 356. That was down from the previous year. And then looking at the active listings year to date, year over year, 1,567. That's versus 1,821. So the uh, amount of listings, the amount of inventory is down uh, versus last year in Lexington. And the month supply of inventory year to date, year over year. Less than one month, 0.91 months versus 0.46 months. So Lexington has seen worse uh, inventory levels. They saw uh, worse inventory last year. So we uh, they have a bit more inventory on the market now. And again, six months of inventory is considered a balanced market that equally benefits buyers and sellers. And this information was provided by the Bluegrass Realtors Association. Last but not least, Covington, Kentucky, April 2023 market overview. The average sale price is down uh, from the previous month, 207471 is the average sale price. It was down month over month and down year over year. So Covington is being impacted um, by price declines in their sales not in their list price, but in their sales. Um, so starting to see a little bit of impact of the tightening market um, and home prices have, the home sale prices have fallen from the previous year and previous month. Cumulative days on market is 22 versus 27 last year. So homes are selling faster this year than they were last year. Average list price is still fairly high, 508981 is the average list price, um, and that's versus 371797 last year. So list pricing uh, has gone, has continued to go up. The higher priced homes are now being listed on the market, um, but the um, lower priced homes are what are selling on average at the moment. New listings in Covington, Kentucky, 66, which was down from the previous year. Uh, active listings, 82, down from the previous year. Sold listings, 58, down from the previous year. And again, uh, pending listings, 73, down from the previous year. The number of active listings year to date and year over year, 410 versus 421. So not too far off from the previous April. And their month supply of inventory sits at 1.27 months, which is very similar to the previous month. And again, six months of inventory is considered a balanced market that equally benefits buyers and sellers. Covington, Kentucky sits in a seller's market. And this information was provided by the Northern Kentucky Realtor Association. So the market update allows you to see and allows you to track what is happening in these different areas. If you would like to know what is happening in your particular area or your particular neighborhood, please give me a holler. You can send me an email with your address so I can run a home valuation for you or check out your market to shop Kentucky Homes at gmail.com. You can also visit my website, shopkentuckyhomes.com, and you can contact me there or actually have my website run a valuation for you or sign up for a housing market update. Won't be as fancy as this one, but I hope 
that you will take advantage of some of these um, free resources that will help. For David Hiddle with United Real Estate Louisville, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.